Hi, Emma at Gorgeous here. Today we are going to look at three needle, needle bind off or three needle cast off, which is really useful in situations where you want a, for instance, a, fol a folded over seam. In this case, we've got that's a folded over arm armhole and also a folded over neckline. So the, traditionally, one simple way to do it would be to finish, do your ribbing and then cast off in rib and then literally stitch it, fold it over, stitch it down. Fold it over and stitch it down with a hemming stitch. But uh, an, another way which uses slightly less yarn and therefore keeps it flatter and is quite fun actually, is to use what we use three needles to do a three needle bind off. All we do is we knit the rib and we end finish with a right side row. So when we turn the um, the work round, we are facing, we've got the wrong side facing. At that point, we take our second needle that we've been knitting with, exactly the same one we've been using, and we go to the first row of whatever the fold over is. In this case, it's a really straightforward ribbing, and it's super easy to see where the first row is because it's different colors. But because it was a different stitch before, it's actually also quite easy to see. Now I've done most of it because this is, takes quite a long time and I didn't think you'd want to watch all of it. But I'm literally picking up, oh no, picking up the wrong one. I'm literally picking up the bottom of the first stitch in each case. Now it, it can get quite tight if you're a tight knitter. And so what you could do is, is just literally cast on maybe, um, sorry, pick up the first 10 and then cast them off and then pick up the next 10 and cast them off and the next 10. But it, I wanted to show you that you can do it all in one piece. So I think we've got two more to go. Now, um, you should have exactly the same number of stitches on the bottom and the top. Although actually, um, because of the way knitting works, you may well have one less on the bottom row and that doesn't matter. I'm just struggling with this corner stitch, the very last stitch. So I'm using the other needle to pick it up, which which you can do the whole way along. So you could go, um, if you want, if you find it, I find it really easy to do because I'm used to it, but you can easily pick it up and pop it on, pick it up and pop it on. Now, the third needle, in a project like this, we need the bind off to be stretchy. We need to be able to get our heads through it. I know, and I'm sure many people have had the same experience when you forget to cast off loosely, you can't even get the sweater over your head. So we need to be conscious of that. And we manage that in two ways. One, we use a rib bind off, a rib cast off or bind off. And two, when we're doing three needle bind off, we could just use a bigger needle. I've only gone up half and um, one size from, this is a four and a half mil needle, and this is four. So for me, that's good enough, but um, people that knit tightly might want to go up one whole size, say from four mil to five mil. That is up to you. Now, we're actually going to pretty much do a traditional cast off, but we're going through two stitches, through the knit, knit through the front, and then knit through this the front of the second one and needle around off you go so that's the first stitch now i'm going in this instance i'm casting off in rib so i'm going to do the second one based on the back stitch as a purl stitch through purl the back then purl the front nice keep it nice and loose i know it looks neater when it's nice and tight but it doesn't feel nice and then we literally going to cast off the needle so let's do it again needle we're going to cast we're going to the next stitch the knit stitch so knit through the front knit through the knit the back one two two stitches every time one from the back one from the front and then use one of your needles whichever one works best for you to let me just tell you i've split the yarn there to pull that through so the next stitch is a bind off so um we're going to do that and we are going to come through and we're going to 
do like to keep my, my, my cast off quite, quite loose. But perhaps that was a little loose. So we're going to come through and that's the next stitch. So simply, cast off. That's the next stitch. All we're going to do is go the whole way along. As you can see, we've already done the first four stitches. We've got a lovely loose rib. Eventually it will look like this. You get to the very last stitch, cut the yarn, pull it through and weave in the ends. And that is all you have to do. Good luck and let me know if you have any problems.